Hello everyone. I want to kind of walk you through a little process of upgrading from the stock card of the Zoom Q3 HD camera to a higher memory card, SD card. Uh, the issue that I've had is even after formatting the new card, it would only allow me to record up to 50, maybe a minute and a half worth of video until I received the message that said card full, card is full and it was really frustrating and after reading a lot of online forums it seemed like there were a lot of people that were kind of going through the same having the same issue so hopefully this little video will help kind of resolve that matter uh, what I'm doing is upgrading from the stock card to the extreme the Sandisk extreme 16 gig card now I just was off the phone with this customer service at zoom and after finally getting through they were really helpful so basically what we need to do to resolve that issue is upgrade the firmware that's on the camera in order to be able to have utilize the full capacity of the 16 gig card so just go to the zoom website uh, to the downloads and then the software tab um, be sure you choose the the q3 HD device and then just scroll to the bottom and you'll see the new version 1.3 uh, firmware just download it and then once it's downloaded um, what you do is open it open the file and then I right click oh, pardon that message uh, I uh, click on it right click and then extract to a specified folder and for me it's always easier to just put it on my desktop quickly and uh, go from there and then move it if I need to later so just click OK, and then what I'll do is just close out of that, and you'll see it here. Here it is. Here's the file on the desktop. But the next step would be to take the stock card that the Zoom camera came with. I just place it in my little SD card adapter here, and once that's in, just open. I open that card and then you can see it's already here. Basically all you have to do is just uh, click and drag that file onto here and once it transfers it's all set. It's on the original SD card that the camera came with. And then you can just remove the card now that it has the firmware software loaded onto it put it back in the camera and then it's also outlined these next instructions are outlined on the web page and I believe it's page 20 of the manual operating manual for the camera hit the hold the power and play button at the same time once that screen pops up it's firmware update version 1.3 version 1.3 the reason it is the same on mine is because I've already updated the firmware but yours will have the newest version and the prior version on there just arrow over hit OK and it'll take about oh, about 10 seconds or so to upgrade the firmware but be sure that you do have sufficient battery power on the camera or you could potentially, uh, I think, damage the, the device based on what the customer service rep was telling me. So after you're done, it'll say uh, done. Then just hit yes or hit OK. Then I'm just in the habit of always powering down. Um, and then just remove the stock card and replace it with the newest SD card. And then you should be all set. And then it will also prompt you to format this card, I believe, again. So uh, just hit yes, format it, and then record, and you should be good to go. I tested it a few times, and I already had sufficient uh, length of time recording. I was already in the four or five minute range with no problem. So it looks like everything's working well. I uh, hope this video helped, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.